adding and removing columns in analyses using Oracle BI. I'm a sales manager and I want to change my team's brand revenue by adding new columns to create a fulfillment analysis. I want to add product type, channel, build units, discount value, and quarter. Previously, I added a target revenue column that I now want to remove. First, I must find the analysis. I enter brand revenue in the search field, and then I click search. The brand revenue analysis is displayed in the catalog page. I click edit. I want to include the time component first, so I add quarter to the table view. I expand the time folder in the subject areas pane, and then I drag quarter to the left of brand in the table view. Next, I want to include product type in the table view. I expand the products folder in the subject areas pane, and then I double click product type. Product type is added to the right of the target revenue column. I position my mouse pointer above the product type column. The cursor changes to a crosshair. I click and drag the product type column to the left of the revenue column. When I see the vertical colored bar, I release the mouse button. Product type is positioned properly in the table view. I want to include channel in the table view. I expand the orders folder in the subject areas pane and then I double click channel. Channel is added to the right of the target revenue column. I click and drag the channel column to the left of the revenue column. Channel is positioned properly. I want to remove the target revenue column from the table view. I know that if I right click the target revenue column that I can exclude it from the table view by using the exclude column menu option. Excluding the column in the table view will not remove it from the analysis, and it will therefore be available for inclusion in other views that may be added at a later time. I know that I'm not going to need this column for this particular analysis, so I decide to delete it rather than exclude it. I click the Criteria tab. I click the Options button for the Target Revenue column, and then I select Delete. Finally, I want to include the two measures, Build Units and Discount Value. I expand the Revenue Metrics folder in the Subject Areas pane, and then I double-click Build Units. Build Units is added in the Selected Columns area. I double-click Discount Value. Discount Value is added in the Selected Columns area. I need to save the updated analysis as a new analysis. I click Save As. I ensure that this analysis is saved in the Company Shared Products folder. In the Name field, I enter Fulfillment by Quarter. And then I click OK. I want to review the analysis. I click the Results tab. Now that I have created this new fulfillment analysis that includes order detail, I can evaluate our product fulfillment effort and develop a strategy for my team to better meet our customers' needs and increase our profits. Thanks for watching.